Hello, my name is Julia and today we're going to be painting Melancholy Road. We are painting in acrylic paint so you don't need any experience and I'm going to walk you through step by step here. So we are going to start off with our large bristle brush and we are going to mix up a tint of yellow, so light yellow. We're going to paint the sky in the top half of the road and for the bottom half we're going to come in with some ultramarine blue and white mixed together. And you want your brush strokes to be completely horizontal going from one side of the road to the other. So now we're going to take our pointed brush and we're going to add in some trees. When you're painting a reflection it's easy if you kind of just paint the tree and the reflection at the same time. That way you can just do one vertical line that kind of goes straight down. And it doesn't need to match up perfectly. No one's really going to be able to tell if it's the exact reflection. So now I'm going to go in and add in some brown trees. You can mix up brown by mixing all of your colors together, yellow, red, blue, or you can also add in some black to make it a little bit darker. So I'm still using the pointed brush, adding in some branches, adding in more trees, and then the same thing for the reflections. But for the reflections, I'm going to make them a little bit lighter so they're a little more subdued. The main thing you want to keep in mind is you want it to be as random as possible. In nature, things appear very, very random, but in patterns, but it's not like they're all exactly one inch apart and five inches tall. So you want to mix it up. So now I'm going in and adding in horizontal brush strokes on top of the road. This can be considered a road or a river. It can go either way. So you can do it with your pointed brush and then your large bristle brush. After that, you can take your pointed brush and fill in the sides with red paint and then use your bristle brush to add in black around the edges to darken it up and then kind of use your brush as a stamp to create more texture. You can go in also with your pointed brush to add in little brush strokes for little leaves and I'm pretty much using every color that I have there, yellow, purple, white, some big, some small. Um, some that go off into the road. You just want to mix it up and if you're not sure when to stop, take a step back and look at it from far away and that can help you get a new perspective on it. I'm also going to add some larger trees here in the foreground. So same thing, pointed brush. And you don't have to add in exactly the same amount that I do. Whatever you want is going to be perfect. And then you can add in a shadow. You could add in a little bush. So now I'm going in and adding in some highlights. So I'm taking my pointed brush and some of that pale yellow and just adding it to the side of the tree that's closest to the road. So I'm making it a little more gradual in the back there so that it doesn't end so abruptly. And then I'm taking my bristle brush and just a little bit of white or pale yellow on it and you can lightly brush over the whole canvas to give it a kind of diffused look. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.